tactical Iraq, and that 900 U.S. troops, some of the 2,000 put on prepare to deploy orders, have already been sent to the Middle East. Between October 17 and 26, uh, U.S. and coalition forces have been attacked at least 12 separate times in Iraq, four separate times in Syria, by a mix of one-way attack drones and rockets. We know that these groups are uh, affiliated with Iran. So things are heating up in the Middle East. There are news of Israel's attack on nearby countries, including Egypt, Syria, Lebanon, and Jordan, on the borders particularly. And most recently, we've also heard about U.S. stationing their military assets closer to Iranian assets in the Middle East. There is news about the proxy wars that are now starting within the Middle East countries closer to Israel. And the U.S. has sent a stern warning to Iran that any action or continuation of their proxy activity will cause a full-blown attack from the U.S. Will you hold Iran responsible, or are you holding the proxy groups responsible? And what is taking so long to respond? Look, I'm not going to get into telegraphing uh, whether we are or are not going to respond, other than to say we would do so at a time and place of our choosing. What we sometimes forget to notice is the situation in Ukraine stays unresolved. And I've said this before, that the attention from Ukraine had to be taken out. The war will have had to move out somewhere else where Russia gets engaged. And this is what we see developing in the Middle East. With the Iranian proxy wars, this could begin to lead to a more full-blown engagement of the U.S. and Israeli forces, including NATO, in the Middle East, where Russia already has assets. And Russia will then be forced to come in and defend their assets around Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, and Iraq. One more important thing to watch around this is Mohammad Qasim's stream about Iran's revenge. Some of you guys may know about Qasim Soleimani, who was the general of Al-Quds Force in Iran. And in January 2020, he was assassinated by a U.S. airstrike in Iraq. Since then, Iran has mourned the loss of their leader, but they have not taken any revenge or any activity. But Mohammad Qasim saw after the assassination in January 2020 that Iran will take its revenge and fill down two American fighter air jets. The Russian Defense Ministry reported seeing U.S. coalition aircraft, including eight F-15 and four F-16 fighter aircraft, one Reaper and two Gray Eagle drones in Syrian airspace 15 times in the last 24 hours. And this could be the catalyst that brings about U.S. engagement in the Middle East. I suspect this event is not far away because U.S. only needs a reason to jump into the Middle East and begin its war.